in case you do not know what these are these are offers won on this channel or won by subscribers from this channel in previous years so a number of people have won this same scholarship i'll be talking about today at vajaningen university from this youtube channel so it means that we have a track record of winning the scholarship in the past and we can do it again in the future so join us hey guys welcome to my youtube channel it is victor once again it's another day and we have another scholarship in case you're joining us for the first time welcome but where have you been there are lots of videos already on this channel actually 300 of them on fully funded scholarships from around the world so look around i'm sure you'll find something that catches your interest and of course if you're a returning viewer a returning subscriber thanks for coming back and i hope you get a scholarship sooner than later so let's go into the matter of the day we're looking at masters and phd scholarships at Wageningen University, Wageningen University in, in the Netherlands. For this scholarship, you wouldn't need to submit any or pay any application fees. So a number of people get um, put off when told about scholarships in the Netherlands. They're like, oh, application fees, how do I pay? But for this university, you're not paying application fees. And there are several opportunities for students outside the EU, not just African students, but students from asia from other continents apart from those from um, europe so look around there are also phd opportunities here as well and a number of phd opportunities here like um, advertised like job opportunities this is quite common in some european countries so also i'll also leave a link to this below and you see how to navigate the phd opportunities but for the sake of this video be we will be paying more attention to the master's opportunities. So let's begin. So this is um, scholarships for international master's students. There are a couple of them, and usually the courses are for um, two years. Um, these are the varieties of scholarships. You can see the excellence program. Um, there is also the African program. There is this um, Anna Van der Band um, Fund and the rest of them. I'll be looking particularly at the African scholarship program because a number of people have won that here on this channel. But you can also, of course, explore other options. For instance, this excellence program, you get full tuition waiver and it can often be combined with something else. It can be combined with this one, the Anna Van der Ban scholarship. So why the excellence program provides you with tuition cover? The other one the anna scholarship would provide you with extra funds for like um tuition and not just tuition but for like living stipend so i know someone who got both of them who is not african but had a combination of both of them but if you're african i even have better news because this one is a fully funded one you probably do not even need a combination look at what i mean so i've opened the african scholarship program and keep an eye on the deadline, the 1st of February. It opens since September, actually. Oh, no, it's, um, you resume rather in September. You resume in September if you get the scholarship. And what does it cover? You can see here it covers the travel cost to and fro Netherlands, the living stipend, you see um, tuition, visa cost, health insurance, and budget for seminars, attendance around Europe so this is it covers everything you wouldn't have to move any financial muscle when you get this when you get this um, funding as you probably saw in a number of the screenshots I shared earlier you can see the breakdown of the cost everything is covered from visa fee to insurance to flight tickets to your tuition to your stipend to conference seminal cost so they got you through and through so how do you apply? You have to be from the African continent for this particular one. Apply for one of the eligible masters. We'll be looking at them shortly. Get an unconditional offer. Have a very good grade. Usually they prioritize people with the first class. But if you have a very strong 2-1, there's somebody I know also got a scholarship with a very strong 2-1, with a bit of um, research experience or a bit of strong relevant work experience as well. So the person was able to get it, so go for it. It might just be you as well. So when you apply for the course before the February deadline, 
you selected so they get the pool of application and then they select the very strong applications and then they invite you for a virtual interview you're invited for an interview then they screen it down and get um, the particular number of people they want i think they think i think they take up to 20 or more people um, there's a year when we had about 12 people at a go six 12 people at a go so not very sure about the precise number um, they accept every year. But by February, or um, by February, that's the deadline. By I think March, April, you should expect the interview, and April, May, the results I think should be out generally, and see May the results will be out, and in September you're starting. So this is like there's a timeline here. You can always study to know when to expect what. So these are the master's courses. Let's look at them very quickly. It's a, a university that is um, leaning towards the sciences and usually largely on things like environmental science, biology, and the rest of them. So these are the courses. Here you can see um, agroecology, a number of other things here, biology, climate studies, data science for food health. So there's a bit of, um, as you can see here, it's very strongly STEM aligning, but then you can also see things like development studies. So STEM, environment, sustainability, if those are your areas of interest, health as well, I've seen a number of health um, courses as well. So if that is your area of interest, please go for this. You can see water technology, you can see um, nutrition and health. I think someone from this channel got this um, for, with this course last year. Also plant science as well. So there you go, several courses you can apply for. So apply for these courses, put in your best foot, that's your best performance, submit your best documents. So check for the applications requirement of these courses. Apply, and then if they think your application is good enough, they invite you for the interview. If you get invited for the interview, you can always come back to this channel, send me an email. I can connect you to existing scholars that might help you prepare for the interview, give you some tips on how to prepare. And who knows, you might just be on your way to the Netherlands, fully funded, your flight ticket, everything covered next year. So that's my hope for you. That's my dream for you. Um, one thing I would want to say is that a number of these courses might request um, this English language requirement. It's beyond me. It is their requirement. And a number of them might want you to do that. So see how you can navigate that. If you can raise money to write the TOEFL or the IELTS, that's good. Um, I'm not sure they allow waivers, but you can always engage with them directly to see if they collect um, English language waivers. So try your luck, who knows, you might just be lucky. So for the PhDs, this is just very direct. Often a number of PhD positions here advertise like job opportunities. So just click on them. You will see the requirements and then you also see the salary at the, at the end of the page. So the deadline is on the 20th for this particular one. This is a PhD in um, almost climate, food, sustainable development, sub-Saharan Africa. So if you scroll down a little bit more, you see what they're looking for, the qualities you should have, the qualifications, and then if you scroll down a bit more, I think you get the salary. So you're paid over 2,000 euros, close to 3,000, and it actually rises to um, 3,500 or more um, as you progress in the role. So check for other opportunities, of course on the university website so i'll be leaving a link generally to these opportunities so you can get a hold of them so i hope this was useful a number of people i noticed are already applying for this because i did a video on this channel on this channel on this particular scholarship as well last year so a number of people did not even wait for me to post like an update they just went there to the past videos got the tips and started applying already so if you're watching this now you've not applied already no a number of people have already applied so you know not to skip you but to show you the extent of the competition so be on top of the game um click on the notification bell on this channel so you're often the first to know when i drop a video because it pays to know first you know you're able to strategize early put your documents together early and apply on time but if you wait a little you not 
um, you don't get notifications on my channel you might just know when the you might just get to know of the scholarship when the scholarship deadline is very close by so do your due diligence follow the right people including me as i said we have a track record of winning several scholarships around the world in fact we've won scholarships from every continent on the globe it's very hard to find another channel doing something similar um, and by the way everything is free of charge all my tutorials here are free of charge i do not um, give um, do extra services in my dms i think these are enough sufficient um guidance so in case you need tips on how to like write an academic cv on how to write a statement of purpose i do not edit statement of purpose i do not review statement of purpose however there are videos on this channel on how to write those documents you can see this tab letters of motivation statement of purpose research proposal and how to write a cv all these materials are here so just watch them sit down and then you get the tip you do not have to contact any other person that's the truth if you have someone who is going to help you read it, that's a good thing. If you do not have, that's also good. Several people got their scholarship without any special mentor. So I think you need to build your confidence and get to work. So I hope this was useful, guys. Fully funded masters and PhD at Wageningen University. As you can see, fully funded, everything covered, your tuition, living stipend, travel, visa, insurance, seminars around europe it can't get better than this so get to work guys and i'll see you at the top sooner than later bye bye for now